We are back for another week. I believe we have finally, finally made it to week 50 on Bonafide or Bogus. I've only been talking about it for like what seems like six months. Uh, so here we have five brand new potential facts. I am Chris, you know how it works. We're gonna read all these and uh, see if we can't sniff out the truth from fiction. Let's do it. All right, week 50. Doesn't seem like it's been 50 weeks so far. I don't know, it's flown by. Uh, so as we get ready for what will uh, show up uh, next year, uh, as we race towards 2025 and uh, get through the last couple weeks of Bonafide or Bogus, and that's when we tabulate scores and the truth comes out. So here we go. Got five more fresh slate this week. So here we go. Uh, potential fact number one. Dolphins deliberately handle toxic puffer fish to get high. So I remember, this is my only doll. I have a one dolphin story. Uh, it's not even a real dolphin story. Uh, when I was a kid, um, I had a, I was team Sega Genesis um, before I was team Super Nintendo. And of course, one of the, uh, the biggest Sega Genesis games of all time was Echo the Dolphin. And uh, so I never had it. I never had the game. Um, I only played it a couple of times. And uh, my friend had it. And uh, so I borrowed it. He let me borrow it from him. And uh, I remember being so excited to play it and I never really figured out what to do. So I played it for like half an hour, never really got anywhere and then just never played it again. So maybe at some point I'll pick up Echo the Dolphin again. Uh, I still have a Sega Genesis uh, that works. So maybe I will uh, try and track down a copy and play and see if I can actually, I don't know, play. Uh, so we'll see. Um, dolphins do they handle puffer fish? Um, I know there are toxic puffer fish. Um, I don't know if they have that effect on dolphins, but uh, uh, I feel like I am on team dolphins are a bunch of degenerates. So sure, why not? Um, I don't know. Uh, dolphins just always seem like they're, they're up to something. They got a, an ulterior motive, so uh, sure. Potential fact number two. Unlike most rabbits, male Mississippi swamp rabbits protect their offspring, often jumping into swamp waters to lead predators away from their infant rabbits. I don't have any Mississippi swamp rabbit stories. Uh, do Is that even a thing that exists? Uh, Mississippi, uh, Mississippi Swamp, and my immediate gut instinct, which I'm learning to follow more. And the, the one thing that this show has taught me is follow your gut instinct. Uh, if you read something and initially you, you form an opinion on it, follow that opinion and, and trust your gut. And then maybe, you know, work it out, expand on that, whatever you want to do. But I hear Miss, male Mississippi Swamp Rabbit and that feels like that's um, something that's not a real animal. Uh, so, eh. um, so I'm gonna say bogus on that one, mostly because I don't think Mississippi swamp rabbits are a real thing. Potential fact number three, all the gifts listed in the song, The 12 Days of Christmas, equals 78 presents. So now this is gonna end up being the lock of the week because I'm that guy that I'm going to do the math on it. So you have 12 plus 11 is, is 23, 33, 42, 50, 57. Now this is where I lost track of my head. Um, so you have, you have, hold on, hold on. This is where it's embarrassing for me and it, it ends up being a time pad because I can't do the math. One plus two is three. 
6, 10, 15, 21, 28, 36, 36, 45, 55, 67, or 66, 78. So, okay, so I've done the math that way. 12 plus 11, 23, 33, 42, 50, 57, 60, 60. And then I'm thinking like, is there one that's not a real gift? No, I don't think that math adds up. So no, no, I'm gonna stop embarrassing myself by doing it out loud, but I don't think that adds up. So no, 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 no. And now we're, as we're getting closer to December, there's a lot of Christmas related questions uh, because uh, question number four, the first song ever played in space on December 16th, 1965 was the Bing Crosby hit White Christmas. I don't know, I thought we shot other stuff into space uh, before, before that. That just seems like that's not, that's late. 65 to play a song in space. What if it's like, it was on December 15th. This is another one of those where there's a lot of uh, dates and numbers on there. And um, they, that there's probably one of those that is wrong and that will mess the whole thing up. Um, all right, so I'll say no. I feel like that, that, that there's too much that can go wrong on that one. I don't know, it just, it just screams to me like one of these facts is not right. It's gonna be like, it's November 16th or December 24th or whatever. So I'll say no on that one. And we'll bring it to the fifth and final potential fact. Cruise ships have morgues. I feel like they have to. Uh, I feel like in the event of, an, a medic, of a medical emergency that goes south, like you would have to have a place, you know, it's gonna put them in like the conga line. Uh, they would have to have a place where they can safely store the body until, you know, the proper stuff can be done, the proper tests. Uh, can be conducted. So I that makes sense. Like that that seems reasonable. I would I would expect that. I would expect that to be true. And if that's false, it's gonna be weird because what if they're like, oh, we just show them overboard. Whatever. We just don't even really care. We just chuck them. So, uh, all right, here we go. I've locked in my five. Hopefully you have as well. Uh, I'm gonna take this time to ask you to uh, like this video, subscribe, uh, share all that all that stuff that every YouTuber asks you to do on their video. I am no different. So here we go. Let's see how we did. We're, we're getting close to the end. This is where it really counts because that little couple of percentage points here or there can make all the difference. Number one, dolphins deliberately handled toxic puffer fish to get high. I said that that was bona fide. I don't know what you said, but it is. The pufferfish toxins can be deadly in high doses, but are a powerful hallucinogenic, which dolphins enjoy. So there you go. Uh, dolphins, they, they got their own thing that they're into. You know, it's a thing. Uh, number two, unlike most rabbits, male Mississippi swamp rabbits protect their offspring, often jumping into swamp waters to lead predators away from their infant rabbits. I said no, I don't even know if Mississippi swamp rabbits exist. I feel like that's a very derogatory nickname. Yeah, all, oh, it, is, it is not true. It is bogus. All domestic and wild male rabbits will kill baby rabbits or bunnies if left alone with them. 
but some males will only kill male bunnies. That's weird. That's an interesting, interesting fact. The wild kingdom of bunny rabbits. Who knew? All the gifts listed in the song, The 12 Days of Christmas, equals 78 presents. I said bogus, and I tried to do the math, and I'm not that smart. I don't, if I had a paper, I could have written it out. The running total, it is, it is bogus. I was right. Uh, the running total at the end of the 12th day would be 364. 1 plus 3 plus 6 plus 10 plus 15 plus 21 plus 28 plus 36 plus 45 plus 55 plus 66 plus 78 equals 364. Uh, so basically what, what they're doing is uh, they count everything. I see. I see how they did the counting. I did it wrong, uh, but I ended up with the right answer. So uh, there you have it. Uh, sometimes you can even do the work wrong and you get the right answer. I didn't think you could gift a person as a gift. I don't know. The first song ever played in space on December 16th, 1965 was the Bing Crosby hit White Christmas. I don't know why it took me a second to read that. Um, Jingle Bells was the first song ever played in space. As far as we know, that also bogus. And this one kind of is my lock, so I feel like this is going to be a perfect sweep to, to, for, for uh, we're going to go 5-0 and o on week 5-0. That's exciting. If that happens, uh, it's going to be great. Cruise ships have morgues, bona fide or bogus. I said bona fide. It is bona fide, 5-0. and o. And surprisingly, the morgue must legally be kept away from the food storage areas. Of course. So there you have it, 5-0 and o for me. How did you do? Tell me in the comments. Share this with somebody as we are winding down for the, uh, the year. We only have one full week left uh, at week 51, and then week 52 is only a partial week. So, uh, you know, we'll have um, one full week, and then I think the next week is only like three questions. So uh, very few chances now to build up your, to boost up your numbers. So... Let me know how you did and make sure to join me and maybe a cat. I don't know. I guess they're all sleeping. They didn't really want trivia today. And for next week, uh, our next to last episode where we will have five brand new questions in what is sure to be a bona fide good time.